I'm very excited to tell you about private spaces. They're a special feature that we've been working on here in the Discord to allow you to create your own space for you and your team or you and your legion where you can chat just as if you had your own Discord. But it's all within our Discord and that's really beneficial. So let's, let's show you how to use it. The first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and open our Discord and find the channels and tickets area. The channels and tickets area can be a little bit hard to find. It's under Ignite Jam. And you need to just go ahead and scroll down until you see Ignite Jam and see Channels and Tickets. All right, now that you're there, go ahead and click on Create a Space Channel right there. Go ahead and click on that and you will be able to create your own channel. So I'm clicking on it. And then what it's gonna do is gonna pop up with this Space 37. This is my space that I've created just for me. So let's go ahead and click that. So you'll see here, first and foremost, that this space, like there's me here, but everybody has been removed from the right side. So there's a people icon in Discord that shows you who can see what you can see. And with space 37, it's just me and the Ignite host. Those are the only people that can see this. And of course, the two bots that are relevant here. So first things first, I'm going to rename this space so that other people can see, well, what it's all about when I invite them. So I'm going to use the command exclamation mark rename. So let's show you how to do that exclamation mark rename two there was a rename one it didn't work out well that's why it's renamed two all right let's call this uh bombs team all right it's renamed the channel to bob's team so here we have it it's called bob's team up here all right so now that we have our own space with our own name we need to know how to add people to our space so let's add a fictional character here called you. Now, you here is going to be added through a special command in this bot. I'm going to explain that this channel creation bot is actually a Discord tickets bot that we are modifying for our own purpose to be able to do this. So go ahead and add, click on the one with the blue icon. You have to click on the one, the same one as channel creation bot, the blue icon. All right. Now I'm going to type the name you, and we're going to go ahead and add them. You can add as many people as you want doing this. And if you want to create a space for your whole team, you want to go through and add each person one by one. Add them right up here. Go ahead and do that. Make sure to do that right. All right, so once you have everybody added, you need to know how to use this space. First and foremost, there's a superpower that you get with this space that is really important. When in a space like this, from now on, if you do the at everyone and at here tag, they actually work. So in the past, whenever, you, whenever you've used at everyone or at here, it hasn't actually tagged anyone. It's looked like it, but it's been permanently disabled in order to prevent you from using it. Looks just like this here. It's, it's a disabled version of at here. I'm just using this as a demonstration. Uh, but from now on, if you use this in your own private thread, like if you do at here or at everyone, it'll look at the people on the right side and it'll tag them. So at here tags all the people who are online that are on the right side. And at everyone tags all the people who are on the right side, regardless of if they're online or not. Everybody will get a red ping that they'll see on the right side. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Oh, I'm not sure I can. Uh, but they'll get a red ping. Here. You'll see it right here. So you see that leaders only one? Uh, that's an example of a place that you was pinged. And you can see that red ping. So that red ping will show up for everybody when you do the at everyone tag. Well, regardless of if they're online or not. Now let's talk about sub threads. So we've created our own space, our own channel, but we can have multiple sub threads under here, which are automatically visible to people that are already able to see the channel. So they're seeing the channel. If they see it, let's say for example, you is able to see this channel. If I create a thread right now, they're going to be able to see that thread also. This is helpful if you want to create like a whole discord within our discord almost. So let's go ahead and click on thread and click on create. The thread icon is in the top right and you can also access it right here. Both work, both function. So once you're creating the thread, there's something you need to know. You need to give it a name. So let's call this the design team thread. Or if you're a legion, you can say, um, you know, sub legion one thread if you want to do that that way or design for sub legion or sub team one 
right? You can call it whatever you want. And this determines if it's private or public. Let me tell you what the difference is between these two. If you check this box, only people that you tag here will be able to see this thread. If you uncheck it, let's, let's go with unchecked for now. Everybody that has access to the channel will be able to see the thread. So that's the superpower of this. You can create as many threads as you want under one particular channel and create a, kind of create your own Discord along with the tagging also. All right, now that you have that, let's talk about w w when you would ever use private threads. Let's say you have a sub team that, you know, you don't want the sub team spamming up uh, the notifications of other people. So let's say sub team one is just me and you then I would tag at you and now you can see sub team one and now of course anybody else who were th who was theoretically added to Bob's team like the main channel would not be able to see sub team one until they were tagged on the right side so that's the superpower of that hopefully all of that will allow you to essentially create your own discord within our discord and uh, um, you know just using this to the max to create an awesome space all right that's the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me your feedback. If you're stuck at any point, go ahead and create a ticket. You can scroll down to the bottom here and you can go to tickets. Oh, it's under channels and tickets. There you go. Create request help and you can get help. Sometimes the name change doesn't work because there's only like one name change possible for the whole server for the channel name per 10 minutes. So you can request help and get help that way.